Switch me on. Welcome back to the Proton Pack is Not a Toy. My name is Matt, and if you were watching my video a couple of weeks ago, you saw that I debuted my Clippard shirt, and I also showed off an eBay purchase that I made for a Clippard R701 valve, which I did receive, but it came without the knob or the cap on top. And I uh, contacted the seller, he was real nice, and then finally a couple of days ago, I uh, got another tracking number from the same seller and he sent this out and I received it today. So now we have a happy little noggin for my clippered valve. So we'll just tighten the set screw there and he's all tight and ready to go. I was really excited about this one because from what I understand from what other people have shown is this is more of a vintage valve, which is closer to the ones that were used on the proton packs in the first two movies. So I was gonna take my more modern valve off of my pack here and show it to you guys, but I took some pictures and we'll go over those right here. Here I have the full modern valve on the bottom and the cap of the vintage valve on top. You can see the bevel on the edge of the vintage valve is more pronounced and the knurling goes farther down the sides of the knob, about halfway down the set screw hole where the modern valve lines just reach the edge of the hole. Here with the vintage valve on the left and the modern valve on the right, you can see the difference in the font on the top with the caps taken off for the name Clippard and the abbreviation for Cincinnati, Ohio. On the base of the valves, the word Clippard is printed differently with the modern valve having a stretched out appearance. Here we have the vintage valve on the left and the modern valve on the right. For comparison, here is the R701 on the Spengler Hero as it was photographed in 1984. And if you're ever looking at the reference photos and you're curious whether you're looking at a R701 or an R331 for the two different kinds of clippered valves they use on the proton packs in the movies, there's an easy way to tell just by looking at the cap. The 701 has the hole for the set screw on the cap there, and the 331 does not. But if you look at a 331, like on my thrower here, the 331, whoops, right here, has the little raised up part in the middle, and the 701 does not. So there's your easy way to be able to kind of look at them quickly and find out which one you're looking at for reference. A lot of people like to pick um, certain valves to go either on the pack or the thrower based on proton packs that were screen used and the way they were oriented did vary. So if you have any questions about which ones were where, I did cover those pretty extensively in my Proton Pack Detective series. So if you wanna know more about that, check out those videos, and especially if you want to replicate a specific pack, that's gonna help you out. Thanks for watching, have a good day.